we'll be talking about the various types that are used in Clojure. Clojure uses Java types for most of its functionality. You can inspect the type of anything by using the type macro. And here we can see that if we simply type one, it's considered a Java long. Clojure always uses longs for integer values that are input, unless you specify otherwise. Values in the int coercion function, for example. But typically, you'll see longs and also doubles instead of floats. The other types that Clojure inherits from Java are Boolean and string types, which we've already seen as well. It also provides two extra Clojure specific types. Keywords are a special type that are used in referencing values in hash maps and in macros. And you can create those by prefixing any valid symbol with a colon or by using the keyword macro. The other type that Clojure uses is a symbol. Clojure uses these in many places, but they're not often seen in output because symbols are considered to be valuable by the Clojure interpreter. So to see a symbol, we'll have to quote something. And in this case, it's A. A is a symbol all along, and quote will tell the Clojure interpreter not to evaluate it. And the shorthand for this is a single quote. Clojure also provides four collection types to help you work with collections of values. And the first of these is a list, which are also difficult to see because they are also Clojure code. So we can create a list of numbers this way using a quoted list of items delimited by parentheses. And of course, if we did not have parentheses, it would attempt to evaluate the number one as a function. You can get around this by using the list function to construct a list as so. The other simple collection type that Clojure provides is a vector. And vectors and lists are very similar in that they contain heterogeneous collections of Java objects. The difference is that lists are a linked list data structure, and vectors are more like an array. So for indexed access, which can be accomplished with nth, a vector will have better performance. On the other hand, a list will have superior performance if we are taking items off the head of the list, which is the reference that we hold to the rest. In the linked list, of course, each item in the list holds a reference to the next item forming a chain of values. An operation like first on a list will be much faster than an operation such as last. But of course, you can't see the difference in a three item list. Another type of value that is frequently used in Clojure is a map, which is simply a list of keys and values. Traditionally, keywords are used for this purpose because you can use a keyword as a function to access a value from a map. And the final collection type is a set. Sets are useful for performing set operations, and they're represented using curly braces with a hash or octothorpe in front of it. So these are all the types we'll find in Clojure. To review, all numbers are longs or doubles. Strings and booleans are as in Java. Clojure adds keywords and also symbols. And four collection types are provided. Lists, vectors, maps, and sets. All of the collection types can be represented with constructor functions instead of literal syntax, as we've done for list. For a vector, the constructor is vector, predictably. For a hash map, the constructor is hash map. And now here, when we evaluate this, we'll see the actual type change from a persistent array map to a persistent hash map. And this is a performance detail, wherein closure maps of smaller size are automatically instantiated as array maps. And array maps will preserve order and are about as fast on small data sets, but do not have very good performance on very large data sets because the whole list of keys needs to be scanned to find a certain value. However, Clojure will usually automatically convert a array map that grows above a certain size to a hash map, so you won't have to worry about this in your code. Just good to be aware, if you expect your map to have ordered keys, you may not get what you expect. And sets, the constructor is simply hash set. 